I feel like I'm alone in this room right now. I feel like something's in here with me. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through the whole night, to be honest, guys. <laughs> Okay, bro, so I made the executive decision to stay the night here by myself. That's scary. This might be the dumbest idea I make ever in my life. Yeah, it and could I, be. And Kobe's leaving me right now, so I'm literally going to be alone. It's one o'clock like on the dot. It's one in the morning right now, so I literally have about five hours that I have to stay here. Yeah. I'm, I'm out of here right in the morning time, yeah, 6 a.m. I'm getting the chills for you, bro. Oh. I'm not even staying here. <laughs> okay, I really wish I wasn't doing this, but I got to do it, bro. Okay, so um, I'm going to walk Kobe out. It's just me, so. Good luck, man. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna need it. Okay. I'm just walking into the elevator, bro. Just go ahead, bro. We're about to split ways. Bro. You're staying here. I'm staying here every night, bro. I'll see you, bro. See ya. See you, man. Luck, hey, yo, good luck to you, too. I'll text you. All right, text me. Let me know. Let me know if you need anything. I will. So I'm officially alone up here right now. Um, already not liking this one bit. Okay, door is locked. Holy shit. Here's what's going on. Like, oh, why did I automatically get goosebumps? Like, two seconds go by. I am all the fuck alone right now in this hotel. I'm not liking this at all. I have like so many thoughts going through my head. Like, let's just like look at this painting. Like, she's scared in the painting. That's just saying, like, I should be scared being in here. Like, I don't know where the just turn. I thought I was gonna see like a hanging body. I don't know why. It's just a hotel. Like, why am I afraid of anything? <gasps> why were those automatic? I gotta pee real quick. And I'm not gonna stop this recording because, you know, I'm scared. And I feel like this is like my protection. This is me being able to get through this by myself. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I am in the Roosevelt Hotel. If you guys didn't see my last video, Colby and I played the Ouija board in here, in this room. This hotel is already haunted as it is, and I am spending the night by myself. Colby left like I'm literally in this room all by myself. I am not going back in the hallway because that is scary as hell. I have my suitcase like, it's packed and it's ready, but I just had a thought. I brought Purify candles, which basically like gets rid of any negative bad spirits. So I'm thinking, let's light these. You know what I'm saying? I got the bad spirit remover one. I'm gonna light this one right now. Ow. Bad spirit one and a purify one. Cause if I'm gonna sleep here, I need peace and serenity. So purify, bad spirit remover. this at all. I'm, I'm literally sleeping in my jeans because if something happens tonight, I'm getting the f*** out. Okay. I'm hearing some kind of voices. It's literally like 1.30 in the morning. There shouldn't be any voices happening. I just farted. I don't know about this at all. Like, I'm really stressed out just being here. If you guys want me to be honest with you guys for a second, we're gonna have some real talk. If you guys want me to be real with you, the reason why I am actually going through with sleeping here is because this hotel costed me around $500. So I wanna get my money's worth. So I'm sleepy here. Okay, hey, um, this might sound in oh f no, please f no. Okay, this might sound insane and I know it sounds insane because it sounds insane in my head and I, I don't okay let me just explain what was happening so I'm sitting here I'm looking at my phone you know like watching snapchats and in the corner of my eye right here I saw something white Like, literally could be like the faucet drip, but it, like, I just, it, 
keeps me up. <clears throat> so I couldn't sleep. So I opened a $5 bag of peanut M&M's that they're gonna charge on my credit card. $5 for a pack of M&M's? Well, I can't sleep, so I thought, why not? You know, this place sucks. I gotta use the restroom though, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I can't show you myself right now because I am taking a poop, but watch this. Like, I don't know why this is happening. I don't know if we're on a slope, but this is f***ing terrifying. Okay, watch it. Wait for it. What the? Holy oh, Guys, I'm telling you, there's some weird happening. Like, I don't want to be here. I really don't. Like, I'm so over this Like, I'm done with all the f***ing scary shit. Like, I'm just so happy Halloween is over and I don't have to do this anymore. It's the stupidest idea that I've ever had. What the f Look. Okay. That is f***ing terrifying. Okay, that's the bad spirit remover one and it's out? Why the f*** is that one the only one that's out? These candles don't just go out. These ones are supposed to literally burn until there's no wax left. I have to relight this. Okay guys, Colby just called me and he told me he has some scary stuff to tell me so I need to get the bed under the covers hold on Kobe don't tell me anything yet like dude some scary shit has been happening okay. really yeah all right what you don't even know what just happened to me bro I'm, and I'm not kidding I swear to god this all happened so you know how I lost service while I was filming my video right yeah so I go downstairs I'm trying to call an uber zero service right I try opening twitter try opening instagram nothing works can't load anything so I turn off my phone whatever turn it back on zero service bro nothing it says I have full LTE mm -hmm. It says that, but it won't load anything, so I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll just walk, like, five minutes down the road. So I start walking Hollywood, and, like, five minutes later, I stop and I try everything again. Nothing's loading, no service. Basically, long story short, since you're vlogging all this, I walked all the way to my car, bro. What? Yes, from the Roosevelt. I just got home. You just got all the way to my place? I walked from the Roosevelt to my car at your place. That's f weird bro this is gonna sound insane but I was sitting on the toilet and I, I bought these five dollar M&Ms oh you can't see them I bought the five dollar M&Ms from the thing and I I threw one of the M&Ms under the door and I, it came back I, I don't know if it was on a slope but it came the back bro. oh my god like this is the this was the stupidest idea that I've ever had to come here I bet I bet it's just weird though cuz like I why wouldn't you have service on the street I know exactly, and it's like something wanted me to go back up to the room and like get you. Oh, you know what I mean? Like something wanted me to go back because imagine if I was um imagine if I Ubered from Encino. Oh, you would have you would have had like to come back. Ubered Encino, I would have to come back and talk to. It's like something wanted me back. This place, I like. I really want to leave. Like honestly, like I'm I'm want to leave like right now. Dude, good luck, man. Like. I feel like I'm almost through the night though, so it's like, I only have a couple more hours. Yeah, you're almost there. Oh Jeez. my god. Guys, don't ever do something stupid like this alone. Something's happening out there right now. I don't want to like come off as like not manly or anything, but like, can you see the goosebumps? I don't want to come off as being like a pussy, but like this is not a joke. Like this is scary. I'm almost ready to just put my shoes on, put my shirt on, and just leave. I, I haven't slept. Like I need to sleep. It's three in the morning. I just heard someone run down. Okay, this is literally what they said was gonna happen. Like online it says you hear people running down the hallway like kids because I guess kids died here or something. And they said that you can hear the kids running down the hallway. My heart is literally beating at like a thousand miles per hour right now. I don't even wanna leave my hotel room to go down to the lobby to leave because it is so freaky.
Okay, guys, so I thought I could stay the whole night, but I was f***ing wrong. I'm under the covers, just laying there, and it literally felt like something started grabbing my legs. That I thought I could do it, but I can't. I'm sorry, guys, I failed. I couldn't stay the whole night. I literally stayed until 3.43. Almost made it the whole night. I just, I can't do it anymore. I'm checking out. This is done. <laughs> because I can't do it. No Wait, like I thought I could guys. I'm so sorry. I just I can't put myself through this anymore Like I literally I haven't slept. It's almost four in the morning. I need to get out of here I'm literally gonna have an anxiety attack, and I don't even have anxiety guys. I'm leaving the hotel I got my backpack. I'm on the phone with Nick right now. I don't know why he's up this late, but he is up So uh, he's gonna keep me company because going out in this hallway is one of the scariest things because this is where I've been hearing all the noise Hey, I got you bro. You the homie for life. So don't forget that. Thank you, bro. I know you're scared, bro Like the homie really calls me like this late at night. I had to support the homie though. Oh, here we go. We're out here right now, bro. Here, I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, we are leaving right now. I'm getting the hell out of here. I literally cannot do this. Nick, thanks for being here on the phone with me, bro. I'm not stopping this camera until I'm safe in the car. Because if I if I die, I need to capture it. This, this elevator is pretty freaky because it just makes everything feel devilish. But um, I have to check out of this hotel. Hopefully there's someone at the front desk so I can check out. Like this is like a four in the morning checkout, but I have to do what I have to do. I almost survived the night at the Hotel Roosevelt. Um, I was about two hours shy. I just couldn't do it anymore. When I felt something grab my leg, like I kid you not, that was probably the most uncomfortable feeling that I've ever felt because there was literally no one in the room and then something grabbed me. Like, doesn't just happen you know what I'm saying like you don't just get grabbed so like I've seen spirits I've, I've heard them I've like played the Ouija board far too many times but I've never been touched by a spirit before like that next level like no thank you no thank you Hotel Roosevelt peace the out I'll wrap this vlog up when I'm home safe all right guys, I am home finally. Like I can't wait to sleep. Like it's literally so late. It's literally 4.03 in the morning. I can't wait to go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching this far in the video. If you enjoyed it, please, as always, smash the thumbs up button because like that, I literally put myself out of my own comfort zone. I went the extra mile. I pushed myself as far as I could go. I don't even know guys. So just smash the thumbs up button. As always, join the Taylor family by hitting the subscribe button, turning on post notifications so you never miss a post. I wanna give a quick shout out to Boink right here. I'm sorry I didn't give a shout out in my last video. I just wasn't the right time, you know? But guys, look at new merch. If you guys haven't gotten it yet, what are you waiting for? Fanjoy.co slash Brennan. Link in description, pick some merch up. Kobe, do you wanna say anything? You've been waiting patiently for me to get home. You good, bro? All right, dope. Anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow. I love you so much. Stay safe and be careful out there. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, shit. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.